Hey everybody and welcome back to Spirituality with Gabriella. So today we are doing a pick a card reading on your marriage with your future spouse and I will be significantly focused on your wedding day as well as just any general messages that come through about your marriage. So I hope that you find this resonates with you today and if you like it please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So today we're working with these three piles and I have chosen this beautiful Soul Cards tarot deck in pink to symbolize love and romance and all of that wonderful stuff. So I'm going to introduce the crystals now and if you'd like to pause the video while choosing them, definitely feel free to do that. So here we have pile one with the carnelian. Here we have pile two with the amethyst. And over here we have pile three with the pyrite. So take a second and turn your thoughts and your intuition inwards. And then once you find the pile that speaks most to you, you can fast forward using the timestamps below and get your own personal reading. And I will see you all there. Thank you so much. All right, pile one, this reading is for you and I have your cards here and I'm just gonna shuffle them and see what comes through about you and your future spouse's marriage. So I'm getting that a lot of you will be wearing a very long veil when you are married and it looks beautiful. So I'm very excited for you. I also think a lot of you have a very beautiful bouquet of flowers and I'm seeing a lot of like blue tones and hues. So that sounds wonderful almost like this color kind of light dusty kind of blue it looks beautiful so i'm going to start with these four cards before moving on to pick some other ones so this will be more about your marriage and if i get anything specific about your wedding day i will definitely call that out as well so we have the king of wands here and the first thing i'm getting is your future spouse absolutely adores you I think your future spouse thinks that you are as beautiful as a model or something like that because you obviously come across as being very elegant, very poised. It really seems like you're the type of person who knows what you want. And so I think that you're set on having a strong emotional relationship with your future spouse and you're absolutely going to get this because when you see the King of Wands, this is somebody who's going to fulfill you emotionally they are going to be very compassionate very caring and very kind and i'm actually seeing as connected to your wedding day i feel like your future spouse writes some really nice vows when they're telling you about how much they love you and i think they bring in things that are so deeply significant to your relationship it can definitely move you to tears and i know this happens with a lot of people but it really feels like they put a lot of thought into this and this just reaffirms your love for them so 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 much and it just feels like a really wonderful moment so i feel that that will be a very special part of your wedding day is just hearing about how much they love you and all of the memories that they call upon to show that. Okay, so we also have the Knight of Swords here next to the Six of Pentacles. And this is actually a nice combination because when we have the Knight of Swords, this is somebody who is quite determined in terms of the approach they're taking. And so as this connects to your wedding day, I'm getting that your actual ambiance is very nicely set up. So it feels like every single detail is perfect. I think that you're having um, tables with like nice candles and flower arrangements and stuff like that. And I see a lot of white and a lot of, it's almost like lace. I'm not sure if it's lace or linen or something like that, but it it's kind of like a very nice, elegant type of lace that I think you are perhaps using as an element either in your dress or in your um, tablecloths and all of that. And it feels like 
this is a very beautiful ambiance, like somewhere where it feels very elegant. It feels almost a little bit um, Victorian, I want to say. So maybe if that speaks to you, you might decide to take Victorian elements and bring that into your wedding. And I am seeing a portion of your wedding day being outside as well. So these are some messages that I'm getting just about the ambiance itself. And I feel like when I see the Knight of Swords here, this to me actually has more to do with the organization of the wedding and that in tandem with how determined you are to marry this person. You know that this is the right person for you. There's no one else in the world that you would rather marry than your future spouse. And so I think your determination comes in twofold, one in the organization, secondly in marrying this person in particular. And I want you to know they feel exactly the same way about you, which is beautiful. So we have the Six of Pentacles here. And this to me is more about your relationship. So when you see the Six of Pentacles, I think you and your future spouse are known to be giving people. You're known to be caring people. I feel like your personality is the type of person who's very good at listening to people, good at comforting other people. And I think your future spouse is like that as well. I'm almost getting your future spouse, some people might think of them as a little bit of a teddy bear, and I'm not talking about um, them professionally, I'm more just talking about their personality where, you know, they might, um, they might look like a certain way, but I feel like once you speak to them, you see their heart, and you see their soul, and they have a very pure heart, and so some people might think of them as like a gentle giant or teddy bear kind of thing, and I feel like they're very giving and very kind, and I also see your future spouse as very, being a very loyal person, so I feel that they're very loyal to their friends. They're the type of people who would always go above and beyond for their friends and their family. And so when I tap into your energy with them, it feels like they are a really good family person. They are super loyal, super caring, and I actually think they might help a couple of their friends with their job search. So keep that in mind because that might be something that happens even earlier than when you get married. So that is just a good sign to look out for if you see that happening. And then here we have the Three of Cups. And the Three of Cups is, of course, extremely celebratory. This is a joyful day, your wedding. This brings a lot of love, a lot of compassion. I see that your wedding is medium-sized, I would say. So I wouldn't say it's like a very small one, but I also wouldn't say that it's absolutely massive. It feels like you have everyone you want there. It feels like it's very important for you to have your mother there or at least a female figure. I'm getting either mother or aunt. And I feel like, yeah, you have everybody that you want there. It just feels like a really beautiful day because every second that you look around, there's someone there who is supporting you, who has all your best interests at heart, and they are so, so, so happy to see you getting married to the love of your life. So I love this and I feel so positive when I tap into that energy. So I'm also working with the Star Child Tarot deck today and I'm just going to see what other messages are in store for you about your marriage with your future spouse. I don't know if some of you like Ivy and stuff like that, um, but you might even decide to weave that in a little bit in your wedding day just feels like that might be significant to you. So funny because I wanted to get another card and look you got the exact same card here and here so that is obviously a very significant message for you I also just want to say look at how much purple is in your cards I mean that doesn't happen all the time it's funny you would think that this deck was all purple but that's actually not the case there are other colors in there so purple is um, very significant for spirituality for embracing your higher power for your crown chakra so 
I feel like when you are marrying this person and being with this person, it definitely feels like this is a soul alignment and a spiritual alignment and that you two are coming together for a reason. So that feels very positive. So Six of Wands, very celebratory energy. I do see that your wedding takes a while to plan out. So I feel like a lot of you will be planning it for over a year. And I don't mean that it has to be two years or something like that. I think it's closer to a year and a half to be more exact. Um, but when we see the Six of Wands, this is so celebratory. This is a day where every single thing is perfect. Everything is honestly amazing. It's how you imagined it to be and I feel like it's a very positive day. I'm getting a lot of energy around dancing too. So of course everybody has that at their wedding to a certain extent but um, I'm actually seeing more like a slow dance kind of setup between I guess it would be you and your father figure or you and someone significant to you and I feel like that is a really beautiful moment in the wedding where a lot of people have a tear in their eye or cry because it feels very significant. Here we have the Four of Pentacles, so in this deck it's the Four of Crystals. When we see this, this is about money, this is about finances, um, it is also about holding on to things tightly. So you could interpret this two ways. The first is that you and your future spouse are holding on to each other tightly, which is of course beautiful and definitely makes sense with what I was seeing earlier about the vows. The second way I would say this though is I do think you will spend a fairly significant amount of funds and money on your wedding. So I'm seeing like $30,000 above. Um, don't freak out if you don't have that money right now. I somehow think you will get it. It feels like you are also getting a lot of gifts and people are buying stuff on your registry and family and friends from near and far are coming to celebrate you and enjoy with you. And the thing that I want to stress here is you feel very relaxed on the day of your wedding because there's a lot of security here, right? And so because you have that security, because you have that stability, it feels like you can really just enjoy yourself, which is good. I think here we have strength and we have the Eight of Crystals, which is the Eight of Pentacles. Um, I'm going to get back to this in a second. When we see the Eight of Pentacles here, this is about your hard work paying off and the fruits of your labor coming to fruition. So you can see here there's this woman and she's kind of looking out into this expansive field and she's holding all of these beautiful, they're like moons or like orbs. And so I'm getting the sense that your wedding is going to be a spiritual event as much as it is a tangible event. You know, this is significant of the next phase of your life and it's significant of two souls that have meant to be together their entire lives coming together. So, uh, you know, it's not necessarily that you knew your future spouse from a young age, although some of you might have, but it just feels like you two are meant to be together and you two are so much stronger as one. And I think that this also is an allusion to a lot of the planning that takes place and all of those fruits and seeds ripening and, you know, coming into harvest. So this feels really beautiful. When we see strength here, I think there might be a few details that I'm not going to say they're frustrating because frustrating feels too harsh. I just feel like there might be a couple things that you might need to double check and it's stuff that you're definitely going to do before the wedding so don't worry about it. It's totally fine. It's little things like measurements or the hem of a dress and stuff like that. Perhaps you'll have to just make sure that everything fits nicely, everything looks good, but I see that your standards are very high and I think that you have people helping you out, whether that is your mother or other family members or a wedding planner, I'm not so sure, but it feels like you have other people helping you and you have a group of one person in particular, but I think it extends up to three people who are by your side really helping you out during this time. And so I just feel like this is a little sign to make sure everything is how you want it to be, but I know that it will be because I mean, these are all so positive, so I know it will be, so that's awesome. And then here we have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is very much like 
jumping into the next phase, jumping into the next chapter. Sometimes with sword energy, it can be cutting, it can be sharp. I don't necessarily see it being cutting here. I see this more as determination. I see this more as kind of jumping into, yeah, the next chapter that resonates with you both very highly. And I feel like you and your future spouse are able to really have a new identity after your wedding day and after this significant event because it just feels like you don't need to be so attached to your family or how you grew up anymore. You might choose to still be and that's your choice, but it feels like you have a lot more independence, which is awesome. And I think that some of you might be getting a dog as well, either before you're married or directly after. I think for most of you it's after, but I think it's also a safe bet to say that some of you might get it before. So these are all the messages that I got for you today, Group 1, and I hope that it gives you some clarity and guidance. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and share it if you feel so inclined. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can always book using the links in my YouTube banner. All right, thank you so much, and have a great day. Bye. Okay, pile two, welcome to your reading. So I have your cards here and I'm gonna shuffle them and see what comes through about your marriage with your future spouse and also your wedding day. get one more. Alright, so I'm going to start with these and give you some clarity and guidance on what these mean. And we're going to be tapping into not only your day-to-day -day interactions, but definitely your wedding day and anything that you need to know as well about this relationship. So first of all, I want you to know that this relationship is very positive, very healing. I feel like getting into this relationship in the first place necessitates you leaving some stuff behind. It feels like some of you might have had a partnership in the past that was not so beneficial for you or didn't serve you or might have even been hard, you know, hard to deal with, hard to let go of. And I think this is some of the Ten of Swords energy that we're seeing here because I do not think this is with your future spouse. Instead, I think this is about some stuff that you have to let go of. So uh, what I'm getting is that you and your future spouse are going to date and there's going to be so much abundance and joy there. And then when the wedding happens, that is a significant marker that you are truly releasing everything that was heavy for you in the past because it's almost like all of the stuff that might have bothered you before it is no longer going to touch you there's just no way that it can touch you anymore because basically you and your future spouse will have started this entire new chapter together and so i think there's this feeling of safety and fulfillment in marrying your future spouse because it also just lets you kind of let go of the old you and bring in the new. And that new is full of joy, it's full of love, and it is also, funnily enough, full of prosperity and good finances. So we can segue into this card now. So we have the King of Pentacles here. Immediately what I'm getting is a lot of you are marrying someone who is financially very stable. This person would be quite lucrative. I think that you're marrying very good business people, people who are well respected in their field, and people who have good clarity and judgment. I'm getting with the King of Pentacles that your future spouse is going to provide you with a lot of security, and this is going to drip into every aspect of your life, from your actual wedding day, to the way that you live your life, to the school that you send your children to, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I do think many of you will have children if you choose to, and I see up to four children, so that's a lot of kids. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll have all four, but I do see up to four. So I believe, you know, four is a beautiful number, and it feels like your house is full, and that you really enjoy your place in the household as someone who takes care of other people. Um, 
and who's also a very creative person. You know, I think that you're very creative. It feels like you and your future spouse together create a little bit of an empire, or at least that's what I'm going to call it. When we have the King of Pentacles and we have the Empress, these are two major cards. Um, this one being Major Arcana, this one not. But in any case, these are both very significant energies with the King and the Empress being basically like the Queen of Creativity, the Queen of Nature, someone who is spiritually very in tune. And so I see you being a very significant figure, not only for the household, for your children and family, but also for the community. And it feels almost like you and your future spouse have this energy of kind of like a king and queen, like royalty, because when I tune into these cards, I'm getting images that are almost like being at a gala or being at a ball, and I know this card definitely evokes that. So I get a lot of significance and a lot of abundance as tied to your relationship. So that is wonderful. With the Page of Wands here, I definitely think that your lifestyle is going to be going up a few notches, so to speak. So it feels like you will have access to everything you want and could ever wish for. It feels like you are able to make magic happen. Um, when we see the Page of Wands, this is someone who is still younger in their journey, and this is this is about the outlook. But this to me is what happens during the wedding day. Because from the wedding day on, you know that you and your future spouse are really creating your dream reality. And I think being able to create that dream reality together is so very significant for you because it's something that you've wanted for so very long. And I'm seeing a lot of just fun dancing. I feel like your wedding day is amazing. I feel like there's a lot of color. I don't know if a lot of you are planning on potentially not wearing white for your wedding day. You know, maybe you will decide to wear white, but I see a ton of color, so maybe you will be wearing other colors as well. And so I feel like you're gonna have a lot of color, a lot of vibrance. I'm also seeing like a lot of um, sequins and like beading and stuff like that. Feels like you're gonna have a big wedding. It feels like there's gonna be a lot of people there feels that there's going to be quite a large community as tied to your wedding. So when you two get married, this is not just about you two. This is about uplifting the community. This is about bringing people together. This event of your marriage is very symbolic because it provides everyone with more clarity, more guidance, and more joy and happiness. So I feel like somehow your relationship is actually very healing for a lot of other people. I'm also even feeling drawn to look at this crystal again. So I love this crystal because it's almost like it's so clear, like you can see so much into it and there's all these little details in this crystal. And as we know, amethyst is one of the most healing crystals and I almost feel like that is significant of you and your future spouse's relationship and also what you're able to give to other people. So we have the Knight of Cups here. This is not just the proposal that happens, this is actually going beyond the proposal. I feel like your future spouse and you are carving out a whole new reality together, and to be perfectly honest, this is the type of reality that some people only see in the movies. Again, it's not just that you'll be financially stable, it's that you'll be emotionally stable as well, and I find that your relationship has a lot of creativity in it. And I think that you are able to be your fullest self. And your future spouse is also going to really support you in terms of your creative endeavors. So if any of you do painting or art or anything like that, I think your future spouse is going to help you with that and is going to want to awaken that within you. And I also see a lot of you decorating your home with very vibrant colors and paintings. You might choose to use like very strong colors like strong blues, pinks, purples, reds, stuff like that. And so it feels like your home is vibrant and it feels like it's a very safe, secure, and beautiful place. I love this and I feel so positive about your reading so far and also your wedding day. So I also have the Star Child Tarot deck here today and I'm just gonna pull any other cards and see what comes through about your marriage, your wedding day, your relationship. We 
have the Seven of Wands. The Queen of Wands. The Ace of Swords. Nice. That's a good one. The Eight of Wands. Oh, and the star. Nice. Okay, so these are just more clarifications on the cards I pulled above. So here when we see the Seven of Wands, it's light conflict. It's people who are kind of disagreeing with each other potentially, but it's never holding too much angst or too much significance behind it. And I actually feel like some people are a little bit... Uh, jealous perhaps of how amazing your wedding is and also how financially abundant you and your future spouse are together. This is not um, harmful jealousy. This is the type of jealousy where it's like, oh, I wish I had what they had, but I'm still really happy for them. So I wouldn't worry about this. This is just the type of energy that comes when you get to the level that you two will get to. When we have the Queen of Wands here, I do want to say I get very pulled to the wands in your reading, and I think it's because when I tune into your energy, you and your future spouse seem very vibrant together and very creative. And so the queen of wands is significant because she represents ideas, she represents innovations, she also represents a whole new chapter in movement. So when you think of wands, in traditional folklore, wands make magic happen, and that's what's going to be happening between you and your future spouse, and this is kind of how you help your community as well. So even if you tap into this energy, you know, she's holding this wand and there's all this like stardust around her, you make magic happen for your community, you make it happen for your family, I see you as being a very giving person as well, and just bringing a lot of joy to people. So I really like this, and I feel like when you get married, this is when this chapter really kind of unlocks and starts anew. We have the Ace of Swords here, so to me this is actually about, I don't know what the word is, it's like the sanctimony or the commitment that you make together, because I feel like you two are very committed to each other, and I feel like you might even decide to show your commitment to each other in a special way. And I'm just going to give a random example. It might be something like where you do your own little ceremony, just the two of you, and you, I don't know, put your name in a bottle and uh, put it out there into the ocean together. You know, it might be something like that. Or it might be something where you go to the beach together and you decide to do like a little ceremony to just show each other that you are that committed, almost like in the same way people wear a promise ring or something like that. So I'm just getting that the commitment here is strong. It is a logical commitment in the sense that this person makes a lot of sense for you, even not just spiritually. They also make a lot of sense for you on paper, which is equally as important. And it feels like your bond together is very strong and that there's a lot of abundance and joy. So I feel very happy about this. And it definitely feels like this is 1000% the right person for you. Not just 100%, really 1000%. It is the right person for you. So this feels awesome. We also have the Eight of Wands here. So once again, pay attention to how many wands. You have wands here, 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 here. Um, so this relationship is going to be symbolic because there's going to be a lot of ideas exchanged. There's so much creativity. You two might innovate together. You might build something together in the future. I think that your kids will also grow up in a very creative environment, which they'll really enjoy. The Eight of Wands also represents speed. And so if any of you are already in relationships, I feel like this marriage might be happening sooner rather than later and I definitely think within the next two years within that window you will definitely know who you're going to be with and perhaps you might even get married in that time so you'll have to keep me updated and then last but not least here we have the star and this is a wonderful card to end the reading on because the star is all about wishes fulfilled it is about joy it is very much about abundance and delight and I feel that you will be very happy with this person and 
The star also shows me that this is a spiritual connection and relationship. So you two are really going to make amazing things happen together. And I feel that your relationship is very blessed. It definitely feels like the angels and spirit guides are watching out for both of you and want you both to have the happiest marriage and time together possible. So I think they're really going to send you a lot of blessings and a lot of love and they're going to make a lot of things possible for you that you might not have had before, you know, especially before you dated this person. And so I think your spirit guides and angels are kind of gunning for you and helping you and because of that you are going to have a wonderful relationship so group two these are all of the messages that i got for you today and i hope that it brought you some clarity and guidance if you would like a personal reading you can book using the links in my youtube banner and if you like this video please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button and share it if you feel so inclined so we can help more people spread love and light and i just want to say thank you so much for listening and i hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day all right, thanks, bye. All right, group three, welcome to your reading. So I have your cards here in my hand and I'm just gonna shuffle them and see what comes through about your relationship with your future spouse, especially as it pertains to your marriage and your wedding day. All right, so I'm gonna start with these cards and give you some clarity and guidance on these. Before I start, this is a random intuitive message I'm getting which might be applicable to one of you out there. I think it kind of feels like you might get married to someone and that person's best friend has a really strong crush on you as well. So if that resonates with you, I just think there might be some work to do to manage that relationship because it's it's hard for them to see you going off with their best friend as well, you know? But at the end of the day, you choose who you marry and you marry the right person. So if that applies to one of you, just remember there might be some kind of work to do and some kind of massaging of that relationship. In any case, for all of the rest of you, we can start the reading now. So I'm going to start here with the Nine of Pentacles. I am seeing a lot of you getting married in a church or something like a chapel, and I believe that there is a lot of white in the place that you're getting married. It feels like a religious place. It feels like somewhere where you can be calm, peaceful, and quiet. I'm also seeing like stained glass windows and wooden doors. So even if it's not a religious church so to speak you might decide to get married in a place that just feels very spiritual very beautiful and it definitely feels like a beautiful environment so what i want to say is your marriage feels like a very luxurious event and i'm seeing a huge wedding cake with a lot of layers so you might decide to get married in an ambiance where everything is quite luscious and I don't necessarily mean that in terms of the foliage or anything like that. I'm more talking about the decor. It seems like the decor is very well thought out. It is very you know beautiful and it seems like a wonderful environment so I'm excited that you get married in this type of place because this is the type of place everyone wants to get married. It feels gorgeous and it feels like this is somewhere that's very significant to you. So we have the Five of Swords here and we also have the Four of Swords and it's quite interesting to get these two cards together. When we have the Five of Swords, this represents two things to me. First, this pertains to the message I shared at the very beginning. Some of you are the subject of other people's attention other than your future spouse. I don't know why they want to come into this reading. I'm not going to let them come into this reading too much. But one or two people out there have a very significant crush on you and also would like to be with you. So this is just something to be aware of when you think about your guest list, when you think about who sits next to each other, 
all of that kind of stuff because there might be some people out there who are a little jealous that your future spouse gets you at the end of the day. The Five of Swords also represents moving away from hardship, moving away from conflict. It often means that there might be one or two more hoops to jump through, so to speak, but this is not going to be hard, it's not going to be too significant. All of the hard work has been done and now you get to relax and rest and enjoy. We have the Four of Swords here and the Four of Swords is a very healing card. So when we see this card, this represents a lot of peace and it represents tranquility. And I actually get that you might decide to opt for having a slightly smaller wedding where it's just a close circle of family and friends. Maybe not even that much. Maybe you just decide to have two people there um, because it feels like you decide to have an environment that is healing, that is loving, but it's not the type of thing where it's going to be super loud and extremely, you know, crazy in terms of the music you have. I think you actually opt to have something quieter, softer, and just more in line with harmony. And I feel that this is going to be a harmonious day when you get married, and it definitely feels like you're able to connect to your spouse and the people who are there on a spiritual level and I think if you have like really loud music and bands and all of this fun stuff that some people have at their wedding it might be too distracting for you so you might opt to just have a bit of a slower calmer day but it feels amazing I want you to know that and it feels like it's kind of the beginning of something very special because you two will be together and you two are going to walk this road and I'm also getting the sense that there's a little bit of a separation on purpose so perhaps some of you we're very close to your family, but after the wedding day, it feels like you and your future spouse kind of separate a little bit from the rest of the people who you interact with. And I don't say that in a negative way, I say it in a good way, which is that you get more independence, you get more courage to step out there and do your own thing. And I'm getting a lot of peace as attached to your energy. So it doesn't even feel like you're going to be very busy after separating from, um, however it was that you had it before. It feels like instead you're moving towards a life that is more calm, more quiet, more peaceful, and somehow it feels less dramatic. So I don't know if some of you come from bigger families or maybe you were in contact with people who kind of made things a little bit too chaotic for your liking, but it feels like you move away from that and you're able to move towards more peace, more calm, and just more enjoyment, which is good. We have the Seven of Pentacles here, and the Seven of Pentacles is about, you know, working, working hard, making sure that all of the fruits of your labor will ripen. And you can kind of even see that here at the bottom because these are like seeds and you can see the plants are growing up and growing into these beautiful, luxurious stars. And what I'm getting is that after the wedding day, it feels like you are able to really focus more on yourself and loving yourself and your spouse in the way that you've always wanted to love each other. I think that in the past you might have had a lot of demands like from family, friends, or even your job and it feels like after the wedding day it's a significant turning point because you're able to focus more on yourself and the wedding itself actually reminds you that that's what you should be doing. So my message to you is stay selfish, especially now as you're moving towards this time. Stay selfish, stay grounded, stay positive, and really focus on yourself and building yourself to be the best you can be because I think that's going to put you on your best two feet as you approach your wedding day. And then we have the Four of Cups here. This is funny, normally the Four of Cups has to do with having a lot of options. I'm gonna interpret this a little bit differently. I do think you have a lot of options romantically. I'm gonna say that first. I think there's more than one person who is into you. I think perhaps one of your spouse's friends might be into you as well. That's just something that I'm getting. It does not necessarily apply to all of you. Most certainly it will apply to a small number of you, but if that resonates, take it. If not, just forget that I ever said it. 
The second thing, though, is these are traditional wedding bells, if you look at this card, and so I see a lot of enjoyment and happiness. And for some reason, when I tap into your energy, I'm getting a lot of white. I'm getting a lot of symbols like doves, like white horses, symbols of purity. I'm just getting so much about peace, and the number one thing I'm seeing are white doves. So I think that's peace in many respects. It's peace with family, peace with friends, most definitely having that tranquility with your future spouse and I just see that this is going to be a day where it's kind of like the wedding bells ring and after that your life is more peaceful so that feels really positive to me and I really like that and I hope you do too so here we have the star child tarot deck and I'm just gonna pull some cards for you and see if there's any other messages that want to come through Okay, so we have the Five of Pentacles. I have to say that has to do with what I was talking about before. Somebody is going to feel a little sad that you are off the market, so to speak. It has nothing to do with you, so don't worry. Other than the fact that you are the apple of their eye. Nice. Amazing. Okay, so let's go through these. So I'm just going to kind of go over this one quickly. Five of Crystals, this is not an energy you need to focus on on your wedding day. This is usually someone who feels like they've been left out in the cold. Once again, for those of you where it resonates, I think you might have a potential suitor or a potential match who is deeply interested in you but this is someone you do not end up picking. If no one comes to your mind now, that's perfectly okay. It's not that you need to search for this person. It's just something to be aware of when you're hanging out with friends who are, you know, people who you think could be attracted to you because someone might feel a little bit sad that you're off the market on your wedding day. But that's okay. Um, that's your decision, right? So we're not going to dwell on that. We also have the lovers here. Oh my gosh, I love this card. This is an incredible card to get for your marriage. It's an incredible card to get for your wedding day. As you see, even in this card, there is a spark of passion and there's a spark of spirituality that unites these two people. This is very much how it will be for you and your future spouse. I see that you will have a marriage that is beautiful. It's peaceful, it's calm, it holds a special wisdom to it, and so I would really like you to really tap into that wisdom and tap into all of the spiritual messages that you get throughout your partnership because I feel like the universe is bringing you two together and that is why the universe is bringing you so much peace as connected to your relationship and your marriage because you two are meant to really have a deep spiritual bond. And it's interesting because I do get a lot more quietness around your wedding. So whereas with the other two groups, it kind of felt a little bit busier. With your group, it feels more quiet and it feels like this relationship is primarily for the two of you to reach this deep spiritual understanding and healing. Um, whereas the other groups, it was more about celebration with community and all of this stuff. You will have that. The wedding bells will ring. But regardless, it feels like the main importance is actually the two of you really knowing each other on this deep level. I see a lot of affection in your relationship. When we have the Queen of Cups, this is emotionally a very strong bond. This is, again, tranquility. This is maturity. This is wisdom. And so I feel that you and your future spouse together reach a lot of wisdom and that you're able to carve out the type of lifestyle that really allows you both to live out that wisdom and to spread it in a way. And I want to be clear that it's not that I see you interacting with other people all the time. It's more just like, you two are able to hone that wisdom and feed off of each other because you both seek wisdom and you both seek enlightenment. And through doing that, I think you are able to spread it, whether that is through writing, through teaching, through your work, 
but whatever it is, you two grow wiser together, which I really like. We also have the Ace of Cups here, and when we see the Ace of Cups, this is a card that is all about success. This is about emotional stability. Again, this is about enjoyment, and honestly, when you see the Ace of Cups, it's almost like everything is too good to be true. So you are going to be so happy after you married this person. I feel like there's going to be a lot of deep emotions in your relationship, and by having those deep emotions, you feel very fulfilled. So I see that, and I also see a lot of abundance for you both, and I think that this relationship is just going to continue to grow and grow and grow the older that you get, so it feels very significant. And last but not least, here we have the Magician. And I love the Magician because when I see this card, this means that magic is happening. This means that you are entering a completely new chapter where all of the tools are available to you and now it's just up to you and your future spouse to use them. And so I feel like this marriage is significant of kind of, it's almost like going into a new spiritual vortex and you two are able to do whatever you want with it. So remember, you will have the abundance, you will have the peace, you will have the clarity and the tranquility. And so however you want to use that or channel it, make sure that you do. And I'm getting a lot of energy too about writing. Some of you might be writers, some of you might decide to live in a more remote area where you can really just focus on loving your future spouse and working on your craft, whatever that may be. So take what calls to you and really channel all of this positive energy into uplifting the world and into having that dream life with your future spouse because you deserve it and you are going to have it. So I feel very positive about that. So group three, these are all of the messages that I got for you today and I hope that it gave you some clarity and guidance. If you like this reading, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share it if you feel so inclined so we can spread more love and light. And if you would like a personal reading, you can always book using the links in my YouTube banner. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.